Praise the Lord, United Pentecostal Church of Germany, Switzerland, Austria, and Liechtenstein. We bring you greetings from the city of Potsdam. I was thinking today about uh, the goodness of the Lord and uh, the very first time that Sister Robinette and I came to the German speaking nations, uh, I was 19 years old and she was 18. And we came to the city of Lodstuhl near Kaiser Slaughter. Uh, to work under the authority of missionary Arlie Enos. And uh, what an incredible, uh, just life-changing experience that that trip was. Uh, from there, the Lord took us to the nation of Belgium, uh, where we planted churches and started Bible schools, and then to Switzerland, where we planted churches, to Vienna likewise, to Austria, where we planted churches as well, and then to the nation of Germany where in 2009, you elected me to be your general superintendent. Uh, for the last uh, almost 12 years, we've served as your general superintendent and the Lord has done so many incredible things. I was uh, just, just meditating today on some of the kingdom successes that God has given us as a team. And I thought about the uh, goodness, the AMTC, how incredible God has used that to be a a strategic deployable evangelism tool that has brought the conversion of, of many churches and many ministers and many saints, not just in the German speaking nations, but now all the way to Congo and to Kenya, Angola and Sierra Leone. These open doors that God has given us through apostolic training that we have done together as a team. I was thinking about Purpose Institute, how it is um, what an incredible partnership we have with Brother Ellis and Brother Michael and, and Purpose Institute for our licensed ministry development, the maturing of our ministers, um, just an incredible collaborative effort that God has given us with, with training programs that have now impacted uh, nations, um, not just the German speaking nations. I was thinking about the growth in Bible quizzing that's developing our next generation of apostolic ministers and ladies ministry that is just shaping local churches and, and bringing encouragement and strengthening and uniting the body of Christ across the German speaking nations and likewise beyond. I was thinking about the ministry of, of translation that has just blossomed that now we have over 40 books translated to German and you think about the resources beyond that, over 20 or 30 other resources, Bible studies, magazines, and how could we even forget the Voice of the Vision magazine that has now become a catalyst for encouragement and strength and vision, not just in the German-speaking nations, but now all around the world. I literally could go on and on talking about the great things that we have seen together, the great harvest that we have witnessed together uh, in the German speaking nations. And um, I just feel humbled. I feel, feel very humbled and thankful that God has given us the opportunity to, to serve you, to serve your churches and to serve these fields that belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. As of March 1st, uh, the Lord spoke to uh, Sister Robinette and I, and we began to consider our future in the German speaking nations and in the kingdom of God. And I think it was probably around February. Well, it was beginning in November all the way through February of, of this year. The Lord began to talk to us about our future. And we felt very strongly that after almost 12 years of serving as your general superintendent and almost 25 years of serving in the German speaking nations, that it was time for us to resign as the general superintendent and to step away from these fields and move into a new arena of ministry. Uh, this is a tough, tough decision for us. I'm sure that you can imagine the emotions that are wrapped up in this. Our, um, our family has been here a very long time. We are very close, feel very close to each one of you, love you deeply, but we felt very strongly that this was the moment that we needed to move forward in a different avenue of ministry. And so today we wanted to take a few moments to let you know how much we love you, how much we appreciate you, and how much it meant to us to be able to serve alongside of you and to serve you as we pursued the vision of the Lord for the German speaking nations. I would want to leave just a thought with you. Sister Robinette and I have been very passionate 
about um, maybe six or seven principles that we've tried to instill in the German speaking nations over the last 12 years, especially as general superintendent and as ladies president, we've tried to espouse these principles and, and to plant the seed uh, for these principles to be in the soil of our hearts and in these fields uh, for many generations to come. And those principles that the Lord has put in our spirit is of course, radical submission, radical humility, radical sacrifice, to work collaboratively, cooperatively, and to communicate one with another. And I would want to encourage you here today, don't let those principles be left by the wayside, but pick up those principles, put them in your ministry, put them in your heart. It's, it's through that radical submission, radical humility, and radical sacrifice, and that collaborative effort and cooperative effort and that communicative effort that God can do great things, greater things than we've ever imagined. I still believe that the day is very close that we're going to fill stadiums and see multitudes receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and baptize in Jesus' name in the German-speaking nations. So I want you to hold on to that vision. Hold on to those principles. Make it a part of your ministry. Make it a part of the fabric of, of, of these fields. And, and watch how God develops generations of strong, uncompromising apostolic leaders in the future in these fields. I remember what Brother Rodenbush told me decades ago. I, I can't even 20 years maybe ago. Uh, he said to me, if you always do the right thing, the right way all the time. You may not see the results this week. You might not see it today. You might not see it in 10 years. But if you can look yourself in the mirror and say, I did the right thing, the right way all the time, there will come a day that you will stand before the Lord and all of that righteous decisions, all of those righteous decisions, they'll be right at that time and it'll be okay. So we love you. Keep the faith. Hold on to those principles. Keep moving forward. Have great revival. And we know that God is going to do great things in the future. God bless you all. God bless you.